Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Joel. And this is A Stable Life. I'm so happy that you guys made it back here with us. We're starting things off the exact next morning after our most recent video. So if you haven't had the opportunity to check things out and you're curious for some context, you're always welcome to check out the most recent video. That being said, we got Honey fully asleep over here, looking beautiful. And it looks like George and a fellow horse down there laying down asleep. Jack and Diego and Rebel is what I can see and possibly Champ, but I can't make out for sure. Looks like a lot of the horses are down at the new feeders where we moved them to, which is pretty exciting. As each day goes on, you guys will notice that things are gonna be looking a little bit colder. We started at 60s and then we went to 55, 50, 40, all the way down into the 30s and then eventually 20s at night. But that's okay, it is still March. At least that's what everybody tells me. Fresh from the oven. Well, good morning, Rocky. Good morning, Buster. Just look at how adorable these two are. Oh my goodness. And then the size. Got a little Rocky, a bigger horse. Isn't it? Perspective is everything, right? <laughs> What's up, good guys, huh? What's up, big guys? Yeah. Oh my goodness, there's a rubber chicken in the water trough. <laughs> Did you guys put the rubber chicken in the water trough? <laughs> I'm working on it, honey. I'm working on it. Let's go ahead and give him some feed. I also saw a comment in one of our recent videos stating that they noticed that the donkey's manure pile is always in the same place. Yeah, we're not putting that manure there. They are putting their manure there. So they have picked a place and that is where they go. They have places in the pasture that they go and in here, that is where they go. Pretty awesome. Kind of wish the horses did the same thing. It'd make cleanup a lot easier, but the horses don't. However, for the donkeys, they certainly do, which is pretty awesome. You guys ready for some grain? There you go, Rocky. There you go, Buster. Oh, wrong bucket. There you go, big guy. Good boys. Also wanted to talk a little bit about our left run. Currently, there are no horses in it anymore. The mares being turned out during the day and Diego being turned out at night means that they are in full rotation with the horses. And that means this pasture is no longer being used. Previously, I opened it up so the donkeys could get in here, but this pasture was pretty badly damaged, mainly right in this area here, and we want it to heal. So currently it is completely off limits to all horses and donkeys. We're gonna let the pasture heal. And then once it's good, and ready, we'll open it back up for the donkeys to get back in there. It's nice that we even have the ability to do that, you know? And also, I could take a look. I think we'll drive down today on the four-wheeler and take a look down there, show you guys just how much better things look. It's awesome. All right, guys. When are we going to let the horses in? Now, I've had you with me for a little while here. So I'm going to set the camera up so you guys can see kind of the little Tetris that I got to play here, where I've got three mares and one gelding who sort of know where to go, but also sort of don't. We're kind of in that in-between period right now, so. We're gonna set the camera up so you guys can see everything. Honey, you going the right stall? She did. What a good drop. One down, three to go. Hey, champ, hey, Jack. Good to see you guys. And next we got Rebel and George. Okay, that's the After walking all the way to the other side of the barn and checking out Sriracha's stall, Champ's stall, and Suede's stall, we're now where we need to be. It's all right, give me an opportunity to close their stall doors down there. All right, well, let's switch you guys around here and show you things on the other side. Let's look about right.
What's up, big guy? Nice of you to join us. And then we got Poe, Casino, <coughs> Poncho, and Gavin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Gavin. There's Poncho. I'm gonna go grab Gavin. Show. Looks like I left the door open. Thankfully, nothing, I mean, honestly, nothing bad would have happened. I just would have had to go out there to get him. I think Poe is probably getting a drink. See if we got casino. Good? Yep. Man, it's nice and sunny out today, too. You can't help but chase those cows, can you? <laughs> oh, puppy, I love you. Come here. Come here. Yeah, that's my girl. Hmm? That's my girl. It's my little watchdog. <laughs> It's so cute. For those curious, she is Sharpay and a Shiba Inu cross. She's got a bunch of other things in her too. She's full on mutt, but those are her two main things. She is 11. And her name is Leia, L-E-I-A. I call her Scoots. That's my personal little pet name for her. She responds pretty well to that sometimes. Well, Poe, I think it's time we put you in your stall, huh, buddy? ba doo 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 There we go. Perfect. All right, all the horses are in. We don't have to put out hay. We did that yesterday. We don't have to get hay. Did that the day before. That's usually our time consuming thing. It's not manure day, so I don't need to worry about that. Man, isn't that something? This is what all the other days must feel like. So we're gonna head out in uh, on the four wheeler and check out the condition of the pastures. We were cleaning them yesterday, but you guys really didn't get a chance to see how things looked after I finished cleaning them. So let's head out and see how things look after a day of use. For the temperature being lower, it's just gorgeous today. All right, so let's start by going over here. You can see our little cutout here for the rain. Looks good. How about where the horses are standing? Oh my goodness, that looks gorgeous. Also gorgeous. Look at this. Dry ground, dry ground. A little bit of manure here and there, but I mean, hey, they're horses. What do you expect, right? Got water going away. With more horses out in this feeder, they're eating more hay. I may need to put another round bale in here. Mental note, store that one for later, guys. What about over here? Oh, wow. And look at how much manure just builds up over time. See that? That's about, that's about a good, what, 10 inches? What do you think? 10 inches or 12 inches? Put your comments down below. I'm curious. Over here, though, we're great. Now, I'm going to talk about this briefly, you know at the next feeder, but something that I realized that I really like with these enclosed feeders is I technically clean a lot less. I only need to clean where the horses are standing. With the other feeders, I have to clean around because the horses hang out around the feeder and you never really know where they're gonna be standing. So you kind of have to clean a wider area. With this, I don't really touch what's in front of the feeder. I clean out the sides of the feeder, I pull everything out. And then of course the little area out here gets cleaned because I'm scooping up the manure dumping it down here on this massive pile. I mean, just look at this thing. Let's see here. Can I climb to the top? What do you think? Think I can do it? Oh yes, I am fully aware of what I am on top of. Here we go. Boom. Yes. Look at the view from up here. Look how little the quad is. Yeah, there's a lot of manure here. And this is all just the middle field, not even touching the big field. In previous years, I used to cart all this down to that main pile down there so that I only had one pile to take out. But this year I just piled it all here really to save time. I'm hoping this is a one year only thing. That pile over there is topsoil. That's just soil, not manure. We're gonna spread that out later on. Anyway, shall we get to the big field? I say we shall. Who wants to do a slide? Whee! Oh yeah. Anyone interested in the slide? I'm gonna go around because I'm lazy and I don't want to open a gate. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Oh, Leia, thanks for playing. Cruising through. Cruising through. Ah, cart. Yeah. Get it, Rocky. <laughs> wow, look how dry the pasture's got, guys. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm excited. The drier it gets, the more likely we'll be able to start spreading manure. Woo -hoo -hoo! Now that's exciting. 
<laughs> okay. Can you tell where I didn't clean? And where I did. I mean, just look at this. Wow. Look at the difference. Oh my word. Here's the feeder, and, and you can see what I mean. I have to clean a wide area around the feeder versus just cleaning the inside of the enclosed feeder. So just another upside to these enclosed feeders where the horses are inside them, because the less I have to clean, the better. Let's just face it. That's just that's just a fact. Speaking of, how's that round bell? Look at them eating the holes out of the side of the center of it. This is crazy. Yeah, this is where a feeder was. You can see the difference in the ground. Now this pile, this pile is a bit bigger but it's more over the edge as i walk over here hopefully i won't slip and fall you can kind of see how it just slopes down and then all the the liquidy stuff down there hope you guys are enjoying that 4k image quality let's see how the new feeders look I'm curious and then here you can see where i stopped here's all our scrap metal i still need to get out all just chilling here waiting for me this is an old grain dryer from the veggie boys the veggie boys used to store all their equipment down here a long time ago now they store all their equipment in their cow pasture but this is an old grain dryer you'd hook the tractor up to the one side and then the tractor would power the fan and then you'd hook propane up to the other side turn on the heater you could you could load and unload grain from it man they really tackled these things <laughs> sticks still here let's take that <laughs> it's attacking me come here stick you go down here, away. Think about what you've done. Oh, the, everything's greening up, guys. Look oh, the grass. Nice green tint to everything. Oh, the pasture's looking good. Hey, wait, isn't today the first day of spring? We need to check the calendar. Oh my goodness. Tuesday, March 19th, 2024 at 11.06 p.m. It really should be March 20th. So not, not yet. This upcoming Tuesday and Wednesday is the first day of spring. So technically, it's still winter. Technically. Oh, well, that was fun. Cool. And I hope you enjoyed the sights and sounds. Always fun taking you guys along for a ride. Oh, there she is. What's up, pops? I need to get through. Beep, beep. Go ahead, champ. Go ahead. You're free to go. Whenever you'd like. The world is your oyster. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> what does that mean? What does it mean when the world is your oyster? Do I want to know what that means? I don't know. Go ahead, champ. <laughs> After you. Anytime. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let out George. There you go, George. You're good to go. There you go, champ. Good to go. Anytime. <laughs> All right. Come on, brother. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got a roadblock. Should I say we got a George block? I guess that was about the quality of that joke, wasn't it? <laughs> all right, guys, all the middle fields turned out. As you can see, the water trough is clear and open. A lot of the horses have headed on out down into the big field. Not all of them are out yet, though. I still got from the mares down for the big field. So that's basically Bella, Sarah, Honey, Poe, Poncho, Rebel, and Weather. Those seven. So we're gonna set up the camera and give you guys a live shot to see ya, to see ya, to show you how things go once they're turned out. Oh yeah. We're gonna put you right here on this beautiful little ledge that was made for a camera. That's why it's here. Don't let anyone tell you different. Gonna give them some time to see if they want to drink. Not really looking like they're thirsty, so we'll go let out the rest of it. Could you tell which one was Diego? Give you a hint. If you're guessing it's this one, you're close, but not quite. Not an option. 
What do you say, Rubble? I agree. Well, things are pretty peaceful here. Sadly, I must go. Some close friends of ours are moving away, so today there is a going away party that is being held for them. And so I'm gonna change into some cleaner clothing and make my way on over there for the going away party. So guys, we'll be picking things up this afternoon, probably a little bit later on, depending on how things go. I'll see you then. And welcome to the afternoon. A couple of hours have passed. What has changed? I'm no longer in my hoodie. No, talking about serious things here. Well, Bella and Sarah are chilling up here. There's Diego. But of interesting note, if you guys see over the cow fence, down the bottom there, back inside the horse pasture, there's Honey. She's down there grazing. I love it. I'm so happy to see it. So she's implementing very well into the herd. The girls are a little timid, but most importantly, they're not being openly attacked or anything like that. It's just a matter of them getting more comfortable. Same with Diego. I get the impression these girls are not used to big pastures. You can usually get an idea when they've been around a big pasture and when they haven't. With time, they'll be out there and I fully expect that to happen as the grass is growing. Here we see weather coming up to chase everyone away. Beautiful. So. What do we got going out there for the pasture? Well, horses are making quick work of those round bales out there. <laughs> Beautiful and sunny. Nothing much more to say other than just gorgeous outside. Oh man, look at, just look at the views we're getting right now, guys. Well, hello, Diego. So exciting. So pretty. <sighs> Huh. Looks like the herds have switched and the time changed. I think we fast forwarded a little bit, guys. Evening feeding is all over. But if that's not what we're recording, then what is? So we're doing something a bit different. Actually, a lot different. Usually, it would be at this point that I'd be on that side of the fence and I would be telling you guys that all the horses are turned out, which they are, and then we'd be ending the video. But today, we're gonna be doing something a little unique. I don't usually do this, but we're gonna walk out to the pastures to show you guys what the horses do and what they're like if you were to just literally go out into our pastures and get a first-person perspective as to what it's like out here with the horses after they've been turned out for the day. After everybody is gone, after everything quiets down, the sun sets, uh, the time is 7 p.m. right now. So we're gonna get started in the middle field. We're over here with Rebel and Jack and Honey, where they get their drink and uh, pretty much just chill. Honey's probably gonna sleep. Jack and Rebel think I have treats, and that's probably gonna be the going thing as we walk through the pastures, is a lot of them are gonna approach us and kind of see if we have any goodies on us. But I'm gonna be a little quiet. We're just gonna walk. We're gonna turn up the audio a little bit so you guys can just hear the sights and sounds of what it's like here on a spring evening. So we've made it to the feeder. Here's Champ, looks like he's got some hay in his mouth. You got some hay in your mouth there, buddy. Huh? Pull that whole thing out for you, huh? Champ's a little love bug. That's all he is. He's just a love bug. You can tell the parts of the feeder that the horses aren't really eating that much of. There's still food here, which is, it appears what Champ and Jack are gonna be eating. Then the fresh bales over here. And you can see the feeder's just loaded. Diego's eating food, that's good to see. So is Bella, and so is Sarah. Sarah. Hello, Bella. You hear that sound of them eating the hay? I always think that sound is so unique because if you ever were to grab hay and chew it with your own teeth, there is no way on earth you'd get that sound. No way. It's pretty unique. Pretty cool. Horse people know it, what I'm talking about, and for those that don't, now you do. And the smell here is, is literally like this bale was just baled. It's just fresh hay. Smells amazing. Oh, we got George over here, our blue-eyed beauty. Hey, brother. Look at the two little polka dots on his nose. <sighs> very soft, very fuzzy. Look at that blue eye. Lovable creatures these guys are. This is why people have horses, right here. These giant teddy bears that you can just hug and love and that, on a good day, respect you and take care of you. And then you can get on them and then you can go like 30 miles an hour on them. Pretty cool. So that's the middle field. Let's head back over into the big field and let's take a walk. 
So we're over here in the big field and the big field is really just crazy. And it's a really cool pasture to be in at night. So main reason that I really don't, don't do this too often guys is because uh, this is the time period when I'd go home. This is the normal time period where I'm gone, I'm home, getting the footage on the computer, sending things off over to Gavin, because Gavin has been the one editing all the videos that you guys have been seeing lately. So by the way, Gavin, thank you so much. Appreciate your hard work. We're working as a team and things are going pretty well, but sometimes I'm so tired, I don't really want to do this because this is my free time. But today, because of that going away party, I have a lot of energy. It's such a beautiful evening. I thought, let's use this opportunity. And I know you guys love getting close-ups, seeing the animals. Right, boys? <laughs> There's the rubber chicken. The sun is going down, so I got my hoodie because I'm going to need it. That's our destination. It looks like all of the horses are just at those two feeders and it looks like this bale over here well horses have decided you know what that doesn't taste as good as these bales over here so let's go see what all the hubbub's about soon as the meadow's getting greener and greener the grass is really going to start pushing out over there and you'll see the horses are going to be over there and it's really cool and the sunset and into the evening you'll see the horses just all sprinkled throughout this section here up on the meadow and over on the other side we're not there quite yet though right now we can see that all the food is concentrated in here and this is going to be where these guys are going to be for a couple hours once their bellies get full they'll move on out through the pasture and sleep a couple of them are going to go and look for green grass so let's see, we've got a lot at this feeder. How many horses do we have at this feeder? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight horses actively eating and nine here. What's up, boys? What's up, good looking guys? So let's see, what's on the menu today? Look at the difference between Poe and Samson. Oh my word. <laughs> oh wait, that's, that's Danny. Look at the difference between Danny and Samson. Sorry, Obi, yeah, go ahead on in. Oh, there you go, being inventive, I like it. Well, RJ didn't. <laughs> Sorry, Skywalker, I'll let you hop on in there. Yeah, what's up, buddy? So let's see, will all the horses let me walk up and give them a pet? That's two for two. Suede's not too fond of it, but he'll allow me. Hey, Spitfire. Yeah, he's ready to give me treats, that's for sure. About you, Danny. Hmm? Curious George over here. And you got Samson, the Goliath next to him. Look at this. Look at that. That's like a, a sedan sitting next to a giant jacked up truck, is what I'm seeing. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm coming in here. Don't no one run me over. Oh, man. So far, we were getting like a 100% ratio here, guys. And I already did things with RJ, but I'll do it again. Right, brother? All right. Sweet. Hey, Poncho. Hey, bud. Your ears itchy. Hmm? Are your ears itchy? <laughs> yeah. Let's see you over here. Hello, hello, everybody. Hey, Gavin. Let's see who do we got? We got three, three, four, five, six, seven at this feeder. Gavin, Tucker, Weather, Casino, Declan, Archer, and Sriracha. Look at these two. Just digging into these things. That's crazy. Hey, Casino. Smell good back there, Poncho? <laughs> What's up, boys? What's up, Sriracha? Hmm? Yeah. Hey, Declan. Archer's gonna be the real test here. Archer, never notorious for not letting people grab him or pet him once he's in the pasture. I'll try, but I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, look at this. Archer, oh, okay. Sorry, Sriracha. Didn't mean to be in the way there. So Archer pushed them. And well, boy, can we can, can we get that repeat? Oh, look at this, Archer. Okay. You just see how all the horses are just just boom. You can see the herd dynamic right there. How quickly that worked out. <laughs> all right. Sorry, boys. I'll let you eat in your hay. See, this feeder they're spilling it out a little bit, and that's the problem with these old metal feeders. But you know, hey, we use them for now until we get all the new feeders built. We would have had three. If I didn't knock down the first one. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed this really relaxing walk out here with the horses. I haven't done anything special. This is literally if I just came out here and walked down here with the horses. Now, your experience would be vastly different. The horses don't know you. They're not comfortable with you. So uh, you'd have a, a nice experience, but one, you know, you, you, you know, experiences may differ. That being said, I'm just gonna put that disclaimer out there. Please do not come to our horse stable and come out here and just walk around the pasture unattended without any notice, anything like that. That's That could be very dangerous. Just please don't do that, okay? <laughs> but I'm happy that you guys love the horses. I'm happy that you guys uh, love the videos. Your comments always give me a good laugh and a good smile. And I'm just glad that these animals are touching the hearts of thousands of individuals. And it's helping all of you guys really to see just how cool these animals are. Right, Pancho? So I think what we'll do is we'll end things off with looking out over the meadow. Can you hear the bullfrogs? Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you haven't, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps the video get shared to more people who haven't discovered the channel yet. And if you like what you're watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It'll send you a notification letting you know every single time a new video is placed. Keeps you up to date with what's going on with the animals, the property, the family, and kind of gives you a good idea for what we're doing as the seasons change. And if you really are enjoying the videos, you can consider joining the channel. That of course supports me and supports my ability to make more content for you guys, as well as more diverse things. And it also gives you early access to videos. Thank you so much for watching guys. And as always, we will see you in the next one.